Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionellus, where medicine makes perfect sense, and today is the fourth birthday of this beautiful channel, Medicosis Perfectionellus. Thank you so much, and these are some gifts for you and some important announcements. Please watch this video till the end. I just want to say thank you to everyone who subscribed, everyone who watched my videos, everyone who commented, and everyone who sent me these beautiful emails. They mean the world to me. And trust me, I will never stop making videos for you. And speaking of videos, I have 829 videos on YouTube, 20 videos in my electrolytes course on my website, 40 videos in the antibiotics course, 50 cardiac pharmacology, 15 about anti-cancer pharmacology, 15 about autonomic pharmacology, 20 about CNS pharmacology, and 20 on Patreon, giving you a total of about 1,000 videos in four years. That's an average of 250 videos per year. I want to raise this number to 100,000 before I die. And today I've added 30 videos. A new course has arrived on the horizon. This is my acid-based disturbances course, the best course that I have ever created. I know I sound like Tim Cook, but it's true. I read about seven books just to prepare for this course, and these books include Goldman Cecil Internal Medicine, Davidson's Internal Medicine, Harrison's Internal Medicine, Guide to Physiology, Golian Pathology, Golian Labs and Diagnostics, etc. Because there is nothing like this course. This is an area of medicine where most students and doctors are struggling, but struggle no more. So let me summarize the whole shebang for you in one minute. You have four diseases, respiratory acidosis, respiratory alkalosis, metabolic acidosis, and metabolic alkalosis. Respiratory acidosis is easy, just hypoventilation. Respiratory alkalosis, it's hyperventilation. Okay, metabolic acidosis, we have two groups, HAGMA and NAGMA, based on what this difference is based on the serum anion gap. If the serum anion gap is high, it's HAGMA. If it's normal, it's NAGMA. HAGMA is usually a toxin. Most of the time, it's an exogenous toxin. Alcohol like methanol, ethylene glycol, alcoholic ketoacidosis, etc. Sometimes the toxin is endogenous. Diabetic ketoacidosis, lactic acidosis, uremic acidosis. And then NAGMA. NAGMA is divided into two groups. Based on what? Based on the urine anion gap. Not the serum, the urine anion gap. If the urine anion gap is zero or positive, it's a kidney problem. But if the urine anion gap is ne, gut, if, then the problem is in the gut. The difference between a kidney problem and a gut problem is who is losing the bicarbonate. And last, metabolic alkalosis is divided into saline responsive or saline resistant. Saline responsive, the gut is losing chloride, not bicarbonate, chloride this time. And saline resistant in this scenario, the kidney is losing the chloride. How do I tell the difference between GI loss and kidney loss? Measure the urine chloride. So if you're losing serum bicarbonate, this is a metabolic acidosis. If you're losing chloride, this is metabolic alkalosis. How about a kid with cystic fibrosis? Oh, this kid is losing chloride in the sweat. Doesn't matter. It is metabolic alkalosis because there is chloride loss. How about vomiting? Well, when you vomit, what do, what's in your wallet? Uh, what's in your gut? Uh, HCl, hydrochloric acid. Does it have chloride? Yeah. So when you vomit, you lose chloride. Therefore, vomiting will lead to metabolic alkalosis because anything that leads to volume depletion will trigger an aldosterone release. And this is the cause of the metabolic alkalosis. There is an urban myth among students and it goes like this. Fanconi syndrome is the same as acizolamide. Barter syndrome, it's as if you're taking loop. Gittleman syndrome, it's as if you're taking thiazide. And Lytle syndrome, it's as if you're taking potassium sperm virus. Well, the first three are true, but the last is the exact opposite. In fact, Lytle syndrome causes alkalosis, but potassium sparing virus cause a metabolic acidosis. Moreover, Lytle syndrome causes hypokalemia, but the potassium sparing diuretic will cause hyperkalemia. Imagine my shock. Don't believe me? Do you know how do you treat Lytle syndrome? Potassium sparing diuretics. This will cause alkalosis, but this will cause acidosis. So this will treat the alkalosis. And Lytle syndrome will give you hypokalemia. Potassium sparing diuretics will raise your potassium. I will also teach you how to detect complex, complicated, combined mixed acid-base disturbances. Consider this. This patient right here has respiratory alkalosis and HAGMA. Even worse, you can have a patient with metabolic acidosis plus metabolic alkalosis 
plus respiratory acidosis at the same time in the same patient. But hemodicosis isn't respiratory acidosis and metabolic alkalosis like a contradiction? What are you, a freaking physiology professor? Grow up, life is complex. Is there any way to diagnose this? Of course there is, just by looking at the labs. You don't even have to see the patient, you can be like house MD. Of course, you will need to see a patient and take a good history, but even without seeing a patient, I can tell you if these three exist at the same time. In addition, I will teach you to detect a lab error. Let's say you ordered arterial blood gas. The results came to you, but the results had a mistake. If you took them as a priori axiomatic at face value, you will kill the freaking patient. So just in five seconds by looking at the number, you can tell if the lab screwed up or not. Even better, you can tell if the question written by your professor is sound or just nonsense. I will also teach you how to solve these crazy graphs. This graph comes with pH on the x-axis and bicarbonate on the y-axis. Each area in this graph represents a certain disorder. This equation is easy, most people grasp it, that's why I call it the bronze equation. But this golden equation, that Le Chatelier's principle, is so profound it's unbelievable. I fell in love with Le Chatelier's while preparing this course, it explains everything. Also, do you want to know why do we tell the patient who is suffering from central retinal artery occlusion and sudden loss of vision to breathe into a paper bag until they arrive at the hospital? This doozy course is about 8 gigabytes. It has 30 videos plus 25 cases plus notes plus my perfect Schnell's ultimate notebook of about 180 pages, please print it if you can, and a mind map containing all of the acid-base disorders. And you can get a 40% discount towards anything on my website, including my acid-base course. Just use promo code ACIDBASE in one word. It's available for 100 students only. Now, some free stuff. My physiology introduction notes about 25 PDFs are free for the next 24 hours at medicosisperfectionalis.com. My autonomic physiology notes are also free. My leukemia perfection Nellis Ultimate Notebook is also free. A video about sensitivity, specificity, positive predictive value, negative predictive value, likelihood ratio, etc. is also free. A video about ankylosing spondylitis is free. And the pinnacle of all announcement in this video, my autonomic pharmacology course is also free, baby. 15 videos plus 20 cases plus the ultimate notebook plus a mind map. The best way to start studying pharmacology is not with pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics like your woke professor suggests, it's with the autonomic pharmacology course. You gotta love the subject first before you dig deeper. How do you get all of these free goodies? Go to medicosisperfectionalis.com, click on download on the top right, and then click on free, add anything you want to your cart, hit purchase, make sure to write your email correctly, and boom, you're done, you'll download them. What's next for medicosis? I will continue making videos about rheumatology, nerve physiology, let's talk about the action potential, endocrinology and biology and labs and physical signs, etc. Also, regarding the questions that I post on social media, I'll post their answers on my website. It's going to be a page like this. You simply click on the question, you'll see the answer, and you will see the subject and the system where this belongs. And now go get my acid base course. Don't forget to use promo code acid base for a 40% discount. Each birthday, I'll try to give you a free course. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense. I love you.